All right, guys, welcome back to the podcast. These nuts. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the Talk Podcast. It's your boy Gabe, a.k.a. Poppy Fly, and I'm here with... Lisa, a.k.a. Lisa. <laughs> Lisa, a.k.a. Lisa. So it's been a while since we've been on this. Uh, I mean, I guess half of it is slacking, half of it busy in a sense. Every time we end up doing a podcast, again, like we did on our, uh, what, I think a previous one, we start at 3 in the morning and wind up who knows at what time. We can never find a reasonable time, no matter. Well, what we started time. early today, <laughs> and the initial start, I guess, driving home early. Yeah, and it's two thirty now, which is it's so stupid because it's like today I had no install, so I was like, okay, we can leave early. It was eight something when we could have left. Yeah, literally, it just didn't. We still happen. left at like almost ten. Then we had to stop, get food. You had to get your your snacks. No, <laughs> childish. Don't, don't blame me. You don't <laughs> want that sex in me. 7 Eleven, yeah, and you said it's not normal if we don't stop at 7 yeah, Eleven. So it's your, it's your fault, <laughs> anyway. I was supposed to be heading home by now, mm-hmm. really. No, oh, three, and we started uh, on time, oh, yeah, but we didn't. But here we are after two, three weeks, who knows how long it's been. Um, but hopefully, we're back and we stay consistent. We're not staying consistent, we might, who knows? Okay, we won't. so the next episode is gonna have a guest. Yeah, it definitely should have a guest. No, it's going to have a guest. Okay, it's going to have a guest. Who it is? I don't know. We don't know who it is, but we we're actually going to have a guest today. But it's like when we thought about it, it was so last minute and it just it wouldn't have happened. I think the podcast probably would have started. Actually, the podcast probably would have started even earlier because we had a whole 15 minute intermission on how to get an introduction to get this going. 15? Yeah, because you said, I don't want to say my name. I don't like how I say my name. So that was a whole thing. My name is weird. And I was afraid of starting and then starting like this because I, I don't know what type of captain I thought I was or a soldier. But that's that. So a lot has been happening in the past few weeks. Um, I guess I'll start off with I bought the wrong supercharger. And I'm so annoyed because it's something that I kind of didn't want to do. But at the same time, I was like, yo, if it works out, hell, I'll do it. So I went to... I was on Facebook as I always am when I'm bored. I went on Facebook and I seen the supercharger for sale. Wait, rewind back. Let, let's start the whole supercharger story, I guess, from scratch from where it originated. We were on our way back from picking up the and 8th When you got the car, yeah, originally. Right. Go back from 8th Should have listened to me. And coming back in the 8th Gen SI, and we're driving down, and I'm just, again, I'm taking advantage of all the basically states that were passing um, down on the way here. And I search wheels, whatever, and I start searching superchargers. And I'm like, you know what? Eighth gen to me has always been a supercharger build. I guess for me, you know, growing up, a lot of the eighth gens that I knew were supercharged. It wasn't really turbo. And just the sound of whining, you know what I'm saying? Like, my Type R is regular turbo. The ninth gen that is never going to come out is Craftworks kit. And then the eighth gen, I wanted it to be like, a, you know, the whining, you know, something different. It wasn't going to give me maximum power. Something different. I have fun. a supercharger on my ninth. Yeah, but it's different because the ninth has more power had when it was running. And it doesn't have an engine. It doesn't I have guess you're right. <laughs> sure, sure. So then, um, so I found this deal. This dude was selling a supercharger thing for like 27 something or $2,800. Complete kit for the 8th gen. And I was being cheap. I was lowballing. I was like, I got 25. I'm in your area. I'll come pick it up right now. And he's like, no, I can't do, you know, I can't do that price. You come up with twenty eight hundred, I'll be able to do it. And I had the money. It was actually twenty seven hundred. Was it twenty seven? Yeah. And I literally had that in in my pocket at the time. I'm just like, damn, should I buy it? I'm like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to do this. It's supposed to be like a daily, just chill. And we thought about it. As we it even usually goes. We even pulled over. We went to go eat. Uh, me and Junior, and I'm thinking to myself, he's like, yo, just pull the trigger, pull the trigger. You know, you want to supercharge it anyway. I'm like, nah, it's not meant to be. You know, if he doesn't do this price, then it's not meant to be. So the dude knew what he had, and, you know, I respect that. I didn't get it. So fast forward, I got this itch of wanting a supercharger. This so is like a month later, not even long. Was it? <laughs> Maybe. Which is so stupid because I should have bought that supercharger, and I knew I was going to regret it. As I was passing the dude's house, I'm like, I'm going to regret not getting the supercharger. And, and did. So sure enough, I started looking on Facebook. I found a supercharger, excuse me, which I know nothing about. All right. So... I told little Chris, I was like, hey, look. This well, you saw a supercharger for Civic. Yeah. And you were like, yeah, that's the one. 
I mean, Civic, and the dude had a picture with an 8th gen. And I was like, all right, well, I don't even know if I asked. Maybe it was my mess up, whatever the case was. But I had asked little Chris. I was like, yo, can you meet up with the dude? Um, we got him down to 2800 because he wanted three grand. I was like, yo, just pick it up. Just make sure that everything is there so we can install. Sure enough, he went, blah, blah. He said, yo, it's good. You're just missing a belt, but you can probably use a stock one. And your stock one, you need a new one anyway, so... We just change it, you know, as part of the maintenance, regardless of the supercharger or not. And sure enough, we got it. We said, you know, whatever, fuck it. We got it. It sat in the shop for a minute. Uh, maybe like, maybe another month it sat in the shop. Um, then one day we got motivated. Or little Chris got motivated and started taking apart the manifold. And I'm hyped. I'm like, yo, like, it's fine. It's going to be supercharged the wine. It's going to sound cool. So then we go to install it. And... I guess <laughs> the manifold of the supercharger um, was short or too long. No, I think it was, it was too short. short. Too short. Short. So the because the eighth gen has the coolant hole. Right, right. Hole. So um, the coolant side was just open. So I could have mount. I could have mounted the manifold, but then the coolant side would have just been like leaking and a whole disaster. So you had to plug that basically. Yeah. So I would have to plug that, which is not a big deal. Which uh, it wasn't. My thing was like, if I feel like if you guys would have found the solution at the, at the moment, like, hey, listen, bro, just get this, this, that, 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 and you'll make it work. Then I probably would have went with it. But like, the motivation had been lost when everybody was just like, Yo, but it just oh, got progressively work. worse regardless after that. Supposedly. So, like I said, no, I don't not know. Supposedly, it definitely. Got well, like I said, worse. I don't know too much about it. So um, he was saying, yo, you could cut the manifold and get the K tune coolant block off. So I was like, okay, so let's just get it, whatever, let's make it happen. I don't know who's going to cut the manifold, if we're going to cut it straight, however it is. But then he was saying that it was laying on the alternator, right? Yeah, so <coughs> the manifold bottom was on the alternator. Supposedly. Positive. Not supposedly, it was on well, there. Well, okay, you actually physically saw it. Yeah. But the reason why I say supposedly is because I've seen so many people put all types of you know, CT supercharger on any K series. So I'm just like, how do they make it work so easy? At least they make it seem easy. But then I was talking to one of the dudes and he was saying that um, some people change the alternator to like a TSX alternator because it Which sits make on sense. a different angle. Yeah. So the manifold where it would hit on a regular alternator, it would obviously have room because yeah. of the angle that the alternator is in. But this is after I was like completely over it. So... I just got over it and I said, I'm not doing it. It's not even that. Then we laid the supercharger on top of the manifold and then the the snout, whatever, like the pulley part uh -huh. was all on the AC lines. Oh, because yeah. It, that sits, too. it sits lower than the eighth gen manifold. AK was too much work. I, what I wanted, it was just, it's one of those things where like I wanted it. If it worked out, cool. If it didn't, then it is what it is. It wasn't meant, I'm a strong believer. If it doesn't work, it wasn't meant to be, you know what I mean? Especially on something that I don't need. So it didn't work out. Um, I'm sure I can make it work somehow. A whole new manifold. A whole new car. Um, it's for a ninth gen is what we So Yeah, so we came to a conclusion that it is for a ninth gen. And I thought to myself, you know what? Maybe I could put it on my ninth. And then the Craftworks kit would probably be a little easier to put on the eighth. But it's like, then I'll be downgrading in power. So the supercharger, the Craftworks kit... I was at like maybe 380 something, 390. And then yeah. the CT wouldn't have got me to that at all. It would have got me like 340, 350, at least just bolt on. So I was like, ah. So I was like, I didn't want to downgrade in power. To me, eighth gens, the wine noise is kind of would have, you know, took me back. And it just looks cool. Days. Like this eighth gen is like the CT supercharger, like yeah, setup. Yeah. What I had to get was basically the CT carbon fiber cover to kind of just like finish it off. But it was like wrinkled black. Everything was clean, you know, it had, uh, I think the oil cooler, rare oil, uh, what was that? The piece? catch can, That's, the catch can. The catch can. So it, it was dope, like it would have, you know, everything would have worked out if it was for that. So I was like, I was pissed. Um, and like I said, I wasn't going to tell anybody about the supercharger, I was kind of just going to come out low key. And then. Now I, there's a supercharger for sale. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so then when I posted it for sale that I bought the wrong one, I got so many DMs like, oh, you're supercharging the car. Oh, shit, this not. And I'm just like annoyed as hell because it's like, yeah, I was supercharging the car. Nobody was supposed to know about it. But because I don't know too much about it, I bought the wrong stuff. And now I'm just like over it. I don't want to supercharge it. They're like, oh, yeah, no, it's just supercharge. But it's like, 
I, I'm over it. Like I said, it's completely, it's done with. I'm not going to supercharge it. Maybe I'll find another deal that's like direct bolt on. Yeah. Fit, then maybe I'll do it. But we did find one that was, because, well, I'm looking for one too. Yeah. And then we found one, but it looked beat. So it's like, I mean, that's a scary thing. And I guess because it, it, and we don't know that much about right, it. Right. Like how exactly. to check it if it's good yeah. and all that stuff. And that's the thing with stuff like that is delicate. It's like, you know, if it's not the right stuff or, like, we, I mean, we don't know. We're not familiar with it. Like, I wish know. it was just for sale new, like it was back in the yeah, day. Yeah. I wish they still made that supercharger. Yeah. I would, I would have spent a little extra cash and made sure that everything was new, everything fits, no problem. Boom, boom, boom. Because again, the supercharger, you don't need much mods to support exactly. it to get it running. You don't need anything if you keep like stock pulley, don't push yeah. it crazy. If you don't care for power too much at the beginning, you could put it on and then from there, do it smaller ones. pulley, yeah. tune, fuel. I mean, you have to tune regardless, but um, fuel and get it up to the numbers you kind of want. You know what I mean? Regardless, you'll feel the difference in you know, torque, mm -hmm. you know, by far. So I've been trying to sell it, but, you know, the ninth gen community, I guess, don't want to supercharge the car. They don't want to just turbo, turbo. So I'm stuck on that. The um, I opened up a giveaway for the work CR Kai wheels that I had bought that I I wanted at the moment, but then I kind of regret it because I have found C twenty eights to match my ninth. Um, so that you know the giveaway is is moving, not as fast as I thought it was. So we're waiting on that to get rid of, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with the supercharger. I kind of wanna do a giveaway but it's like when i did before i posted the um, the cr kai's i i did i did a poll and so many people were with like yeah i'm gonna enter i'm gonna enter i'm gonna enter and it's like when it comes down to it nobody yeah. enters yeah. you know and it's so stupid because it's like it's 25 bucks you know what i mean you guys spent it on food and it's like i had even added spice to it i said listen if you don't want the wheels you get two thousand dollars who doesn't want two thousand dollars you know what i mean yeah you pay 25 dollars and you get two and it's easy you could you could enter with apple pay yeah, it's literally so simple. <laughs> I have it on the website, you know what I mean? Like, But like I said, it's moving. It's just not moving as fast. And uh, I'm so used to selling things and getting rid of things so quick. So I'm just being patient. Hopefully that that um, that gets going. Again, as far as the supercharger, I don't know how I'm going to get rid of that. I'm probably going to have to take like a little L. Um, but I guess I'll cross that road whenever pretty much the time it comes. looks nice on the shop floor yeah it's been on the <laughs> shop floor for who knows how long i mean nice and safe but it's just oh my god so much stuff the side skirts um i have bought the side skirts oem from some dude in miami but the tabs were broken or something like that so he came up with a an amazing idea that um i should probably do a video on as well to make it sit perfect kind of so, ghetto but it works you don't see that definitely part. i mean we were stuck on that how long like two three hours Two, three hours, I got home like two in the morning trying to put it for one skirt. And then when we put it on, um, what was it? Like the, it was still stick, sticking out too much. Yeah, it was sticking out. I made some like ghetto brackets, this and that. And the paint was off like a little bit. Like it wasn't too noticeable. But I'm like, um, this dude has to paint my front lip. So I'm like, you know what? Just give him the side skirts real quick. Boom, boom. And the rear lip. Just kind of just touch it up one more time just to get everything 100% perfect. And kind of just leave the car alone. Um, I put leave the, the T leave the car alone. <laughs> try to leave it alone. And then I put the T thirty sevens on. Um, I had so I had the CR Kai's. Um, I had test fitted the T thirty sevens, the chrome ones. Not like the way it looked. So I put them back on the S two thousand, and then I bought the CR Kai's. I love the way the CR Kai's looked until I bumped into the C twenty eight, which is one of my favorite wheels. So I went ahead, pulled the trigger, bought the C twenty eight, put it on the eighth, loved it. But then I. I remember us having a discussion how I was getting tired of the chrome yeah. on the S. So I was like, you know what? Let me just mess around. I was like, so I put the C20, uh, C28s on the S2000, and it sits so perfect, like literally perfect. It does look good. So I'm like, Those it's the look, orange. Yeah, 100%. Like orange with the bronze, just it, it, it sits so perfect. So I kind of just left those wheels on there, and I kind of dealing with the chromes on the eighth, which doesn't look bad. It looks but it, great. It doesn't look bad because usually I would air out at the tire. Like on a bronze wheel, logic to how we spoke in, the, I think, the second episode, how chrome is flashy and needs to be mm -hmm. dumped, and then bronze is good because it's race car. So I kind of lowered the strut, cambered it a little bit just so it tucks. So now the whole car kind of gets like somewhat planted. So I feel like the chrome looks really good on the red SI. Um, 
I don't think that I'll be changing the wheels for now on that. Uh, I was going to go stance. So I was going to buy back my CCWs that I had on the S2000. But my boy had a busy schedule and whatnot. And I kind of found something else to do. So we're not going that route. I'm just going to stay with the T's for now. I like the new route, though. So Yeah, the new route hopefully should work out the way it's supposed to. Um, you guys definitely stay tuned for that because I'm, I'm, I'm pulling stuff out of left field. So <clears throat> we'll see how that works. And then what else did I do? Um, put the T's. I left them on. Cool. The C's on the S. And then the CRK is getting rid of hopefully soon. And then there was something else I was going to do. Um, uh, so on the 8th? Yeah, I was going to mention something about the 8th or the S. About the wheels. and mm, I don't remember. But that's that with those two cars. And, oh, the um, so we were scrolling today, or I was scrolling, and I found T37s in the mm -hmm. same spec, 17 by 9 plus 22, for sale in bronze. And it's like, I feel like my biggest regret was in a sense um chroming, chroming bronze out tees. the bronze tees like i feel like i should have just bought a crappy set and get them chromed and still kept the bronze because my bronze were so fresh literally like nine and a half out of ten it's crazy because i suggested that when he was gonna which i don't remember take the bronze and chrome them out like you should just get another set and chrome them well maybe it wasn't an idea because it was hard to find the 17 by 9 plus 22 so I'm like, where am I going to find a 17 by 9 plus 22? You know, it's hard to come by. But then today I'm scrolling and I see it and I'm just like, shit. So, excuse me, I see the post and I'm like, damn. My girl looks at me like, don't even dare buy these wheels. <laughs> and I'm looking at him, I'm like, shit. And then he's giving me ideas like, yo, get rid of the chrome, um, raffle them, whatever, and then just get the bronze. But I'm like, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to regret getting rid of the chromes because I'm dumb. But I can't keep both And then I have my girl looking at me like Yo, like, what are you doing? Like, that's it No more wheels So I just closed the app And just kept it pushing I was like, you no know more, what? No more wheels But it sucks though Because earlier I caught myself looking at it again And I'm like, shit I kept zooming in I love the bronze Like, I really do The but, OG bronze Yeah I, It's just It's a beautiful color, man It's a beautiful scheme But I feel like because The eighth Is not fast the bronze is like, it doesn't go with it. it. Like the S doesn't go with it neither. But I don't know if the S just hits different. But the eighth is like, if I had the supercharged, I would have did the bronze. Blah blah. Because it would have been cool. It would have been full race car. But you know, with the chromes, it looks flashy. And there's no supercharge. I don't know. This it's just a logic I have in my head that it makes no sense. It does because if it's flashy, then it it should, it's more sense. looks. It shouldn't be fast. If you have a race car look, then I feel like the car should back it up and be as fast as it looks, not just look fast. You know what I mean? So like the S, yeah, no, but the S, I don't know. It just flows with it, regardless of it's fast or not. Just I, don't I know, guess the body goes. of the car is like sporty. Yeah, it just kind of just goes. The chrome didn't go. It's either you go full stance camber dumped, or you go meaty tire and functional. So those two cars, pretty much, the wheels are gonna stay like that. Um, I've been getting itchy with the EG trying to put wheels, but uh, something about the hubcaps just do it for me. Um, I don't know. Just love the hubcaps. I love the look of the hubcaps. It looks super. And it's slow. So if you put T's, then it's gonna be slow. Yeah, it doesn't. It just it looks faster than what it is. <laughs> if that's the logic, where you that is definitely the logic. So then I have to raise the car because um, every time I hit it like a hard dip, the tire is getting stuck all in the wheel well, and then it kind of like it's so bad. Like I hit it, and then you feel like like the steer, and it just like goes into that direction. It's just like, uh, and it's like. It's cool when I'm chilling, but I'm always in a rush. I'm always moving. And it's like driving the EG, it's like I have to be careful. This and that, because I don't want to mess up a fender. It's like the height that I had the EG at, at first, I was able to just go 90, 100, and not worry about nothing, no rubbing. Now it's like I hit The EG goes careful. that fast? Supposedly in kilometers. <laughs> in 90 kilometers, <laughs> so 60 miles fast. an hour. Yeah, pretty much. And then with the f only having five gears, that shit, the RPMs is like, 6,000, it sounds like the motor's going to freaking blow, and I'm only going 70 miles an hour. So I left that at the shop today, so hopefully I get to work to it and raise it and whatnot. Um, we're, I guess I give you guys a little, um, I guess, not, uh, I don't say a sneak preview because it's not a visual, but I guess like a little leak of we're going to buy a car. We're not going to tell you guys what it is yet. 
and we're gonna pretty much build it vlog it um and you guys can basically follow us through the whole entire build it's gonna be on this channel well both of our channels i'm sure because of i'm sure i'll get some type of videos as far as building and then maybe you know on your channel you'll get videos of just cruising or just other stuff so yeah. both channels i'm sure it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be cool different perspective obviously unexpected nobody's gonna expect that. yeah so our goal is to build the car do episodes on kind of a lot of things that we have to do because we're gonna actually put the car together and whatnot um and then we're thinking about giving it away you know one lucky person that follow us um has been you know with us through the whole uh build it's gonna win it you know what i mean so that's kind of what we're coming up with next hopefully um if all falls through you know what i mean it'll, it'll be dope you know to give away a car that you know what i mean it's gonna be a dope car and a car that you guys seen build you know what i mean like the winner can just literally go on youtube and see like look this is my car this is how they got it and this is how it got to where it is yeah. today you know what i mean from changing stuff that da, da, new wheels new this new that so the only thing is we're debating which i'm not really debating because it's pretty obvious it's you know air suspension obviously he wants it to go static i say static build so static build will be fire i just it will be fire i'm just i don't want to mess up the body i want it to be like pristine and i'm sure i've and i've been static i've gotten to a point where it's like i can get the fitment perfect where it won't but i feel like the new winner the new owner when the time comes it's not going to be about that life yeah you know? yeah i get it so the back it's just that convenient. car that car stance looks amazing it does and that's another thing we're debating we don't know if we're going to stand here or go functional um we're leaning more towards the stance just because like a mix in between not crazy yeah no stance. i'm not yeah, yeah no i'm not gonna go yeah. i don't think we're gonna go too insane into it um cause at the end of the day we need a drivable we need it you know whoever wins Quote the unquote car reliable yeah i mean as far as um drivability wise um we need it to be 100 percent. whoever wins the car i want them to feel confident in driving the car and not wanting to get rid of it or yeah. mess it up i would love to see who the person who wins it you know kind of just follow up with us after that hey look the car still looks fresh or yeah. like, i changed the wheels i did this i did that so that's what we're thinking of doing next hopefully that all works out in our favor um what else were you thinking I was thinking something I I forgot it. Oh, first type R that's been bagged on Fly Air. Oh yeah, yeah. Looks super good. And you know, you know what's crazy is that I kind of regretted putting the caption "World's First." I hesitated on it because I didn't want to seem like I was cocky, or like I just wanted it uh, to guess to be known. Like you know, it's the first one. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it, it's not about like yo, look at me. Like I'm the first one in the world. You know, fuck you guys. You know what I mean? Like. It was just more of like, look, this is the first one. Like, yeah, on there. just to search, get, search it up, you know. And then like, you see like, the potential because at the end of the day, not everybody wants to go like functional no, on the Type sure. R. At the end of the day, like most people that buy that car, yeah, it's a performance car, but it's like ninety percent of the people are not gonna put that car on the track. No, ha bro, especially with the prices that people are paying. Yeah. like there's no way. Like it's like people paying fifteen thousand dollars over, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars over. Nobody. Most of the people are not going to put on the track. And if they're not on the track, then they're serious about it. And which, it's, is, which is dope. Yeah, 100%. I wouldn't because, I don't know. I would, but it's not, it wouldn't be a consistent thing. I would do it, like, once for fun. For experience. Type thing. Yeah. But it's funny because I was on Facebook, and then <clears throat> when you posted it on the Fly Air page, it was on my Facebook, and I was like, I know Gabe is not going to share this on the Type R, like, forum, basically, the Facebook group. Because Facebook is savage. Facebook is hilarious. I love it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to share this on the Type R group. And everybody was like, oh, why would he do that on a Type R? Is a sports car. Da, 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 I think like the worst thing you did was share it. I thought you were just going to like take the pictures and post nope, it. Nope. I shared it right it's from the page. Like, bro, then my notifications were going crazy on It was flyer. so funny. Like every comment, I was just cracking up. Like people get butter. Like one, is not your car. And two... If you have the car, did you put it on the track? Because I highly doubt it. There's very few people that actually track the car. At the end of the day, it's on air. You raise it up, and so the, it's going to drive amazing. So that's what bothered me. It's like, okay, if you're not into it, you're entitled to your opinion. I mm -hmm. get it. Not everybody's... I'm not into lifted trucks. That, that That's as far as I go. Hey, I'm not into it. Cool. Yeah. 
That's it. But I'm not going to get into functionality. You know what I mean? Like, yo, if you drive it at the track, it's going to be... Bro, you, first of all, don't have one. That's one. <laughs> Two, if you did have one, you're not going to track it. You know yeah. what I mean? Not everybody wants to track that car. Exactly. It's meant to be tracked. But be realistic, man. At the prices that these cars are right now, you don't feel confident in tracking. Yeah. You know what I mean? You pay $60,000 for that car. Bro, it's insane. Like, like, <laughs> if you got the car for thirty grand, you know what I mean? Like, all right, fuck it. I'll track it. Yeah. That's what you bought it for, you know? <laughs> There's levels to... The things it's an expensive car, it's money. And if you're gonna track it, you're gonna put your own money to whatever setup you want. If that's not what that owner wanted. So the excuse is like, oh, it's gonna drive shitty, it's gonna this that. It's like bro, like I have my FK, bro, it's on bags. I didn't think it was gonna drive shitty. I just didn't think it was gonna drive the way it drives now. And that it drives amazing, bro. Like anybody that's has an FK and is on air, I feel like they can just vouch. Like if the suspension setting it's set up correctly. Bro, the car drives amazing. And like, you've had people drive it. You had... Uh, the guy from Honda Day. The guy from Honda... And he drove multiple cars. And he drove the shit out of the R. Like, yeah. I had posted it. Like, hopefully I can find um, a clip that we can kind of, like, just link in here so you guys can see. And he was just like, this shit is on air. What? Like, it doesn't even feel like it. And he was beating the shit out of the car. And he was like, yo, this feels good. Yeah. Like, this is crazy. And also, Right Hand Drive Kev drove it. Oh, yeah. Right Hand Drive Kev had it. For a it. couple days. Yeah, he had it for a couple of days. And how... I don't know what was his feedback. Did he give you any feedback? He liked it. He was like, "Yo, this feels good." Like, I feel like, <clears throat> and it has nothing to do with, you know, promoting my brand. I just mean in general. Like, air is not what it used to be, and I feel like so many people are stuck with how air used to be. Like right now, with the technology of Airlift Three P, you know, you got height sensors. Everything is digital yeah. on point. Like, you know, this is what Airlift was striving for. You know, to be able to perform your cars. Yeah. Hence on why it's airlift performance. And then with the combination airlift. of like stiffer struts, slimmer bag, is it doesn't ride boaty. Like a lot of people, at least like older bags, is like you feel like you're driving a boat. It's like what the style your struts are, it feels like a street performance. Like it feels like a like a like a performance car. Like which which you can choose, you know what I'm saying? If you tell me you're like I got an R, I kinda don't want that race car feel, I want like a more comfortable feel. Then you know we put bigger bags, bigger bellows, and it'll ride. You know, still good, mm -hmm. but more comfortable side. Mine, I have small, slim bellow bags, which take more pressure, which make the car a lot stiffer. And I don't mean stiffer in an uncomfortable way. I mean stiffer in a performance way. Like yeah. the car drives really, really good. And also, the Type R is built amazing. Like people think, you know, like when it comes to driving a vehicle, like it's just the struts. Yeah, like, bro. Like if you haven't seen a Type R, you know, try to get a buddy, take off the wheel, and just look at the suspension components, like. That's what makes, I feel like, 70% of the yeah. car, the drive. Like, it mind blew me when I bagged it and it drove the way it did. Mm -hmm. Again, I wasn't expecting bad. I was expecting comfort, regular, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But this, it doesn't feel like air, bro. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's air. It's planted. Like, it's yeah, it's planted. super planted. And it's like, and that's what kind of bothers me on Facebook. It's like, you haven't driven one on air. Like, Correct. drive it and give me your honest opinion. It's like... You have an opinion on something you have no experience on. Like, you never drove one. It makes never... no sense. You have no proof of what you're yeah. saying. You know what I mean? You're just going by, oh, it looks ugly, it looks uglier. <laughs> to each their own. Like I said, if you have a lifted truck, I'm not into it. it that's that's your thing. But don't come at me with functionality. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, the car drives good. Unless you man. can back it up yourself. That's also the thing. Is like, you can't talk shit on something that you haven't experienced. And I'm so confident that I can't have... The most, I feel like if I had somebody who, like drives on the track right i feel like the worst thing they can maybe say it's like that i i guess i've never been on the track and i don't know but it's like i feel like they don't have anything they're not gonna have anything super negative to say mm -hmm. it's like um it's not as stiff as coils that's yeah it. yeah which it's is pretty which, stiff which is fair yeah which is explainable obviously you're you know you're talking about rubber backs to a hard coil mm -hmm. you know what i mean but it's like it won't go <laughs> as far as like oh no this is boatish like the car kind of rocks yeah. sideways you lose control like a big no body car it. yeah and it's not ruin it's not i'm telling you right i put anybody in my car bro and not tell them they're bagged they will never know and like again not maybe just my car just any fk8 that's bagged and the suspension is set up correctly with the proper dampening proper everything bro, i'm telling you you would not be able to tell a difference and i'm living by that bro until somebody proves me wrong with evidence it's not gonna happen maybe that might happen yeah, well, I mean, we'll see. Like I said, we have a lot of things in the works. It's been a few weeks since we went up here, you know, and started talking about stuff. So hopefully everything lines up. We can make that idea happen. Obviously, we can't say what it is. That would be that would be fire. Yeah, well, we're working on hopefully if it goes well, I think 
it's going to change a lot of perspective. And that, that's my, that's always been my goal. Like change, you know, what people think about bags. You yeah. know what I mean, like, oh, it's boldish. It's this, it's that. You know, bags initially on factory cars are supposed to be for comfort. Yeah. And, and I get it. And that's why it feels boldish that people have that perspective. Yeah. But then now when you get with the customization, the slim bellow bags, you know, the, the, the adjusted dampening and all that, and you get to like basically fine tune your air, you know what I mean? The stock cars, you can't, you can't fine tune it. You know what I mean? It's what it is from the factory. But now that air is so advanced, you literally can fine tune it like a coal over. And I don't mean exactly like a coal over, but pretty damn close. And you have comfort where, where, where yeah. I don't see it. I don't see where it, you can go wrong with it at all. Hopefully if I ever get an R's, uh, obviously going on air, I just, I just love air too much. Like it's, it's, you get both the look, you get the, the look is good. what does it for me. Like being on coilovers, and I want to be low, low, low. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's, it's tough. It's tough. On air is the only way you're going to get that fitted, aggressive look and being able to just drive. That's it. Simple. So actually me, on the Civic, obviously it stands out on 18s. Mm-hmm. And we, I've been looking at some 17s that you showed me that somebody was selling. And I want to pull the trigger. I like, I want to. But then I was like, he's three hours away. Which we didn't know that initially. I thought he was closer. Yeah, I definitely thought he was closer. But I still want to find a way. It's just imagine driving six hours to pick up some wheels. Yeah. That's what deters me. I wish he was closer because I would have literally picked him up today or at some point this week. Because on 17s, I feel like the car's going to look so good. Like, it would, it would be on the floor, aired out. Tucking, driving 17s. Like, the 18s look cool from the side. Yeah. But, like, once you get to, like, the front angle-ish, it's like... You could see the yeah, gap. Yeah, but seventeens only look good driving it low. Yeah, That's the only and way. you think I'm gonna drive it high? No, no, for sure. That's why I, I'm <laughs> with you. I support the decision on this. Oh, you see, he likes dance cars. No, I didn't say all that. That's e brake. That's, <laughs> <E-break. laughs> That's what you said. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was a. Uh, so hopefully, I could get figure that out. We're trying to see if we make it work. Just make a weekend out of it or something like that, so I can get those because it's a really good deal at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Um, you won't lose. Yeah, except yeah. So that's the only update I got on the car. Oh, no, then you were messing with the tie rods. Oh, then tie rods, yeah. Tie rods are cracked, or one tie rod is cracked on the weld because it's extended. But I think I got that situated. I found an OEM tie rod from a different car with the same shape. Which <laughs> explains to everybody how many tie rods you have gone through. Like seven. Yeah. I bought so many different tie rods from different cars. Which I feel like it's so dope because... You know, you're about it. You know what I mean? How many people are really going to go there and sit? Like, you can be like the conversation we had before where you're just hitting people up. Hey, what tie rods are you on? Yeah. Hey, what? No, you're buying. Yeah, you're exactly. Them, you're investing your time. And, and once you get it, that's it. Yeah, cool, literally. Right? You know, it's like, damn, I figured it out. And it's like, like I said, it's, it's been like like seven tie rods maybe that I've bought. And I measured them. It's like, oh, it's a little bit too long. It's a little bit too short. Or it's not going to work. And then I bought one that I thought worked, which will work. I had to cut it a little bit. But then, obviously, after that, I found another one that is like, oh, this one's going to work better because it's a little bit shorter and I don't have to cut it. So, yeah, I went through a whole bunch of those. And, obviously, when I figure out what works good, I'll post it on my video saying exactly what it is because I don't hide He's that He's probably stuff. not gatekeeping. gatekeeping I de- right nah, right. definitely don't gatekeep. So, if this one works. But the thing is, it won't work with a lot of people because my extended lowers are extended an inch. So, it's all about measurement at this yeah. point. Because not a lot of people extend an inch. It'll be like a half an inch or something. So it might not work for all of them, but it's going to work for most people. For the inch, I guess. Yeah. Even if you do half an inch, maybe you could just cut a little bit and you don't have to deal with extended tie rods, welded. The sun, risk. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's cheaper than paying somebody to extend them because I paid 30 bucks for two tie rods. Mm-hmm. When you extend them, they'd be charging you 30 bucks per tie rod, 50 bucks per tie rod. And at the end of the day, like it might be a good weld, but... This because these tie rods are the welded ones are like four or five years old and it's cracking. Which you know, at the end of the day, you don't yeah. know what's gonna happen with a weld. It could be the best weld, but with wear and tear, it's you got a good use out of it. Exactly. But you know, if you can, you know, kind of mentally know that okay, I can get a built OEM tie rod exactly. that does just the same job with no welds in between. Then. So hopefully, once I get that down packed, it'll be nice. Because I don't did you post a video of your crack tie rod. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, and I even posted that. Uh, the tie rod that I used, which was a, a Acura, uh, a Acura tie rod, but like I said, I think I found another one that works better. Acura is the one you're currently on right now or that cracked, or no, no, the, the one that one I, found? the new one that I found, no, yeah. the, the one that I that cracked is the OEM one that I that got okay, extended. Okay, okay. But hopefully that gets figured out because I literally think that's the last thing 
that I have to fix on the Civic to drive it reliably. At least with a peace of mind. Yeah. Because I, I drove it after it was cracked. I drove it an hour and a half here and back. And it was fine, but it's like you run that risk. I don't want a tie rod to break when I'm driving. That's gonna yeah. fuck up my fender. Could fuck up the wheel. Could they beat the wheel? It's like it's like so much could happen with you just can lose that. control. Yeah. So it's like, and I be driving 80, 90. Right. So I'm not trying to have a wheel fly sideways. Mm. So once that gets fixed, it's gonna be dope. Because I still want to do. I want to do like dope videos with the Civic. I don't want to do more like install stuff because it's like you can only do so much DIY stuff or like. Showing. Especially at where your car is at Yeah now. You know what I mean There's only so much yeah. You can show It'd be cool to get some Fire as rollers <clears throat> Get people I, Like I wouldn't mind people Driving my car Just to get opinion Yeah just. yeah Like it'd be cool Like get a random ass person That's not into stance cars Or somebody that is just Not into cars Like you wanna drive this See your reaction It's scary because it's like Obviously like They're not into it They don't know the whole yeah. You can't turn fully And hit a bump mm -hmm. Like it, So it, it'd be funny Like I don't really care that much where I'm like, no, people can't drive my car. I'm not that person. Like I taught, I, I taught my cousin. Yeah, you definitely are. Well, I, now I am. I taught my cousin how to drive stick shift in my car when it was stands on MB battles, oh, and exactly. she was rubbing. It. I was like, yeah, well, I can drive. Let's teach you how to drive. So it'd be cool. Like it would be cool. Like reactions, like doing stuff like that. Seeing like it's just like the I have real, a lot the of the real world, the real yeah. world. You know what I mean? It'd be like, funny. Like I had recorded when I went to. Well, I think I had said that I went to Target. Older, and people's breaking their necks. Older cars was just like, like, what the hell is that? And then like your license plate is like so perfect, hovercraft. Like, yeah, that just goes. With I love it. that. I love that license plate. When I when I saw that it was available, I'm like, yes, this is the one. It just goes with the whole entire theme. It's See, so that's why I can't go functional on that car then. Well, hovercraft you can always put. You know, you're going fast. <laughs> hovercraft go fast, right? I don't know. Well, don't what know. is a what is a hovercraft? Hovercraft to me, I think like the alien shit. Yeah, that's what I think. Like a the Jetsons. Yeah. They're pretty quick. <laughs> I'm the Jetsons, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the plate will still go once if, if you ever supercharge it. But yeah, I um, need to do that. Mm -hmm. And then... I have a supercharger for sale if you're interested. Yeah, it definitely does not fit an eighth. <laughs> you can't. And, I, and he was... I almost... I didn't consider... I almost considered it because he almost didn't supercharge the eighth and I was going to buy it off of him. This is before I found that I didn't fit. And Yeah, and luckily I didn't because then I would have had to deal with that whole hassle. <laughs> Rather you than me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'd rather you than me. <laughs> but I mean, at that point, I guess you could make it work, man. I just you need a whole new manifold. My energy is just not for it at all. I wanted something simple. It's like again, when you do something that you're not really supposed to do, but if it works, fuck it. And it doesn't work, it's like okay, that's it. Drop it. I'm moving on. We'll find it. another supercharger once that one gets sold. Yeah, we'll see. If it ever gets sold, it's just gonna be a, a, a it's an too or niche an ornament in the freaking shop. <laughs> Hang it up. You can finance. <laughs> I offered that and still. Three it, grand is a lot of money, man, but I feel it like is. it's such a good deal for what you're getting. It is. And then the, that's what they go for at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But that's that. I mean, like I said, um, the next episode, we're definitely going to have a guest just to make it a little more interesting. Um, this podcast probably won't be as long as usual. Um, this is kind of just like a catch up in between. Because um, we were supposed to, well, we were planning to try to have a guest on this one. Yeah. But we're, we're getting organized again, little by little. It's a progress. And obviously it probably won't be weekly, honestly. It'll be like, we want it to be weekly, but it's like, sometimes life just doesn't let it happen. Yeah, I guess at the moment it's tough. Um, just because, like I said, you know, I work, shop is busy and stuff. Exactly. You know, you have your life you get, going you on. Get <clears throat> late nights at the shop because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you kind of... You're you're close to the public, but you're still working. Yeah, yeah. Behind the door. I mean, like I said, this is fun. This is cool. This is, you know, what I'm saying, like, we do this anyway, so why not share it with you guys? You know, but that's kind of like basically the round off. Um, we're trying to buy this vehicle to do a giveaway, do a build for you know that you guys all can see. I'm, I'm gonna give a spoiler. There's gonna be a giveaway vehicle and another vehicle. Oh, there's two. There is two. This is new to me. It is? Two new vehicles to give away. I would. I wish it was three. I'm still <laughs> working on that. We're working on still. To give away? No, 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 no. Oh, oh relax. That's what I was confused. Relax. I'm like, what are you talking about? You giving away no. another car? I don't know about. One giveaway that's going to be a fire build. Oh, builds, builds. Okay, yeah. builds. So there's another build Well, coming. I guess it's going to be technically two builds, hopefully three. Yeah, if, if it goes well. Two for sure. Hopefully. 
Hopefully, one for sure. One, <laughs> yeah, one yeah, yeah. for sure. One's a hundred percent. The other one's ninety percent. One is ninety. And yours, you're stuck on like what sixty five. And we're like on the third one. We're like like maybe like fifty percent right now. It could easily be a hundred. So it would be fire because obviously, like, you yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you know, you just know. like saying it. It's like <laughs> no, you can't say. It. You know, make it happen. No, yeah, you it can't would be jinx it, it would be dope because two out of those three builds would match. And it would be two different styles, I think. Yeah, for sure. So it would be cool. Compare, contrast. Two different styles because obviously there's two different visions. Mm-hmm. So then like, oh. Two different perspectives. Yeah. yeah and like imagine that. just just them together. Yeah. That's it. Y'all got to stay tuned. Yeah. Because. <laughs> it's hard to not spill it, beans. Right. <laughs> uh but again, we're gonna, we're gonna man, document. We're gonna it. make it happen. We're gonna, we're gonna talk and we're gonna make it happen. Because remember what I was telling you this earlier? This is the most confident he's been all week. Remember what I was telling you earlier? We might have to discuss that again. <laughs> Which part? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. We're gonna have to. We go. Listen, man, we're not even capping, bro. Like, I, I know got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. <laughs> this is, this. Like, you know how people uh, click, talk shit, clickbait, and yeah. stuff like that? Nah, this like, is not nah, clickbait. Like, like, we have so much stuff coming, and it's like, I'm hyped for you guys to see. It would see. be crazy. Like, if I'm just, like, thinking about it. Like <laughs> I'm telling you, the vision is there. It's just execution. Now, we have so much It's not even execution. Coming. Unfortunately, it's kind of... It's conv- him not letting me finish. That's it's how convincing. Exciting. It's convincing, which it is, like, at the end of the day, it doesn't have to be convincing, but it's, like, logically. <laughs> it's called justification. That's going to be the key word to everything fuck- we do, justification. We're going to freaking talk. I don't know how serious you're taking me right now, but <laughs> I don't know. You sound pretty serious. I'm serious. I'm. I, I kind of look what I said. What we were talking about earlier, that part of that conversation. You know what I'm talking about? Went out the I window, so. kind of right now. Mm-hmm. If I you know, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, I'm so lost. I thought I, so, I thought I knew what he was an, talking about. And but anno- the fact that he got serious, I'm it's like, annoying I'm like, because I can't say yeah. exactly. But the beginning part of that conversation, I'm almost tossing out the window. Even though I shouldn't. I'm so confused. What we were talking about together with Mary. Okay. That part of the conversation, I'm almost ignoring it. I don't know what he's talking about. I'm oh confused. Oh my gosh. We're going to talk off camera though. <laughs> the point is. Make it three builds. We're working, I guess, now on three builds. So <laughs> um, it's going to be dope. Um, I'm just excited. Like. I got seeing you guys hype. face expression seeing you guys you know it's that's what does it for me you know what i'm saying the surprise like oh shit like this is out like this is what happened it'll this be is, crazy this is what they're doing you know what i mean it's like it's gonna be worth it like i said you know just stay tuned get you know be patient as you guys have been you know i appreciate you guys showing the the love you know yeah, people come sure. to the shop and there's always asking like yo the podcast the podcast it's dope and i guess you know it, it feels good you know what I mean? Because, like I said, we do this anyway. You know, we talk about things. We, you know, and, and the fact that we can share yeah. this with you guys is just, I feel like, just a plus. And we throw spoilers on here. People don't, like, the people that don't watch miss out on the spoilers. Yeah, for sure. It's like and, little subliminals. And we're going to throw more spoilers as stuff happens. Because I feel mm-hmm. like we should say stuff here before it gets posted anywhere. And see if people can just connect the dots. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Because some of the stuff we already spoke about. I was people, about to say something, but would, it would ruin the whole thing. <laughs> it's just too much. I was about to, <laughs> but enough of the suspense stuff. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, again, like I said, this episode is more of like wrapping up and trying to catch up with you guys and kind of tell you what we got going on. Um, this weekend is going to be very hectic for me, you know, um, doing some stuff. And a car returns. Maybe, maybe. Which car? Yeah, a car will come back. But we're going to see. We're going to see how everything goes. Hopefully everything goes smooth. Hopefully the next episode we have um, basically a guest. Um, you know, we'll try to stay on topic as we far as... We got another mic. Yes, we definitely did buy another mic for our headphones. guest. No, I bought the headphones. Oh, you got the headphones? Yeah, both. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, you know, with guest, and then we're going to try to stay on topic as far as hints i guess just stay tuned for the hint so every episode yeah, we're gonna kind of sure. lean more towards what we're working on yeah. as far as the the new giveaway build um the two other builds that we're gonna do um it's just a lot confirming two builds or two other 
I, I hope so. We're going to talk. I hope so. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I feel like I said everything should be fine. I think we should be okay. The builds are going to happen. This is just, you know what I'm saying? It's just more of like, you know, speak it into existence. You want something, you know what I mean? Just keep pushing, keep pushing, and we're going to make it happen. Um, but before we leave you guys, we were smoking this flavor. I forget what it's called. Eternal Smoke. Is that what it's called? It's eternal that something when you sent me the picture. Okay, and it was peach. It was actually really good. This is my first time smoking it. And it was smooth. That with mint, like I said, I mix everything with mint. It's so Typical smooth. Typical New Yorker. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I got to make a video of how to make um, another hookah. Yeah. Just because the first video I did was so long ago. So now I need to update. Four years ago, maybe-ish. Yeah, Three when I first moved ago. here. Yeah. So I'll make another one for you guys. I know people have been asking and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, uh, oh, I forgot. I hit three thousand subscribers on YouTube. I was excited about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's hit thousand. Yeah, I'm only at like thirty two hundred. No, mm. you're thirty six. Really? That yeah. High? My next goal is five k. So I'm five k is my next goal. Yeah, you're thirty. You're at thirty six. Oh, that's pretty he's, cool. You just gotta keep that. posting more often. I know. It's just tough. It was funny. He, we were supposed to be ending it, but he posted the Avalon video, and he sent it. Or I was, oh. we was talking about. It. He's like, yo, it's not doing that good. I'm like. I don't see no video that you posted. What are you talking about? I'm like, dude, about? I posted the video. I know He's I like, yeah, some people told me that they saw it. And I'm like, I don't see it. And then he sent me the screenshot and it was unlisted. So I'm like, yeah, the only people that saw it are the people that clicked on the link. Like after that story that you clicked on the link, I didn't even know nobody that was else a, saw it. I didn't even know that was a thing. So then he made it public and obviously yeah. from there it did. I made it okay. Said. I feel like what really did good, if you guys haven't checked it out yet on my channel, is the MDX video. That I feel like you know that was that one was a good. good video actually I enjoyed it. That was I watched it a couple of times honestly because I thought I, I, I put <laughs> gave so himself much, ten views. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I put so much thought into that you know and it was just cool. It wasn't it, I, I'm not where I want to be yet. You know, there's a lot of things that I want to like change. It's just having the patience and the time. Yeah, you it's know? hard. It's hard to work at the same time and film. Yeah, and then it's like the whole something so simple like. You know, if you haven't watched the video, you can go look at it. But there's a part where it's funny, you know what I mean? Like, oh, that's what she said, you know. Like, that took like the me memes. 40 minutes. Yeah, the memes in between. <laughs> like, just to add it and make it perfect. And, and even then, it was like 98%. It wasn't 100. But it did the job. But, you know, I, I guess, you know, as time goes by, you learn. It's not. Consistency is key. Yeah. Again, this is tough. You know, I, I'm I'm already busy as it is. So, squeezing this and the, all the other stuff. But, like I said... We're making it happen just because you guys gave us such good feedback. Good feedback. Um, and just stay tuned. We have a lot of stuff coming. A lot coming, of stuff man. coming. Like, a lot like I said, it's just to repeat and get you guys hyped again. A giveaway build that you guys are going to be able to watch from the day we get it yeah. to every single mod we do to two other fresh builds that's going to come out, hopefully, God willing. Yes. And an opportunity from something for those two builds. Yeah. So that would be cool. I didn't even I didn't even put those two together because if we Yeah, that'll be right yeah, there. Yeah, literally. So hopefully that it's gonna happen. We're gonna try to make it happen. So again, I apologize if this video wasn't as long as you know we intended, but a lot of stuff is coming. You guys I feel like we tuned. actually gave a lot more information and like more sneak peeks than any other video or yeah. any other podcast in this one right here. Yeah, I feel like it's just now the two three weeks off was so good yeah it was, it was so much happened like we might have not been working like here physically and recording but we've been making so much moves. behind the scenes yeah a lot of behind yeah. the scenes and i feel like that's when we should record yeah you know some people yeah, see yeah. you know what i'm saying like podcast is kind of like the conclusion not the conclusion but like i guess the, the episode right which where every, obviously where where everything comes together yeah, in yeah, yeah. Sense. behind the scenes i guess is literally yeah. the best way to describe it so to wrap this up, um, again, we appreciate you guys watching this. Um, it takes a lot for us to do this. It does, you know unfortunately. I mean? So it means a lot when you guys, you know, watch it, even a like or watch or whatever the case is. It means so much. Yeah, you like, subscribe to it. Yeah, like I said, I get a lot of good feedback. We both do. And, you know, that, that that's our goal for you guys to enjoy, kind of entertainment, you know. Mm -hmm. And soon we're going to change the scenery a little bit just to kind of give you guys a different vibe. You know, instead of just being here all the time, um, this is going to get a makeover soon. So, you know, little by little, we're going to we're going to make some more progress. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching this episode. Please don't forget okay. to comment, like and subscribe. <laughs> you know, you, you can't. 
You know, you got to do some type of <laughs> we hand We always signal. end with some weird movements or something. I don't something. know why. I think it's because we're Spanish. Yeah, hand Has movements. Be, yeah, yeah. I, I was brought up with a bunch <laughs> of this. So, um, again, it's your boy Gabe, a.k.a. Poppy Fly, and I'm here with my boy. And Lisa here. So, End of podcast number, I don't know, at this point. Uh, four-ish, five? Four or five-ish. I don't know. You guys probably well, keep yeah. up with Thank that. you for tuning into the talk. I'll see you guys later. I appreciate you guys. Take care. <laughs> I thought you was going <laughs> to. No, I, I kept it simple. <laughs> I thought about it. The magnet was just like, eh, and I was like, no, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys. Take care.